Hello, we're in Scotland almost, just, oh, barely, just. We're barely in Scotland, uh, which is appropriate for the place we've come to. For It was known back in the day for being barely in Scotland, and that was why it was popular. Where are we, Sanya? We're in Gretna Green. Yeah, we've eloped to Gretna Green. We've eloped, we're um, finally married. Oh, look at us, we're official. Married ages. I lost my wedding ring, didn't I? I know. I lost my wedding ring last week. I had to buy a new one. <laughs> it is. Uh, it just slipped off symbolically. <laughs> just happened to be in the area. Yes, on, we did. On the borders. Yeah, we, we we weren't planning on coming here. So we thought we'd pop over. So it, it was famous because in 1754. Lord Hardwick passed uh, an act in the English Parliament which made it illegal to get married without your parents' permission if you were under 21. Oh, so this is where all like the young folks got married? Yeah, well, some as young as 12, in fact. Uh, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. I know. Young couples would hightail it over the border. And the first town that they used to come to on the old stagecoach route was, was Gretna. They would seek out high-ranking people in the town and craftsmen back in those days, particularly blacksmiths, were, were so highly regarded that they'd, they'd ask the blacksmith to marry them. He would go, are you of marriageable age? So you're like, are you definitely over 12? Are you definitely 12? You're at 12. least 12, aren't wow. you? Wow, that's go, like year six. And they would go, yes. And then he'd go, are you free to marry? As in, you haven't married already. And they'd go, yes. And then he'd go, I, uh, you are now married. And then he'd strike the anvil. And that's still done today. Because this, where we are now, is the Blacksmith's Forge, which is was set up in 1712 or something. To this day in Gretna, it's still the most popular sort of marriage venue. Wedding venue, is that what you call it? I guess so. Yeah. Stand just sat on my <laughs> knee like a ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> I'd stick my hand up here and make it. No. Him. Do they not have any kind of vows? That was it. Like, I look up, no, I, I, like I that. vow to. It was all very, very quick. Love and hold you for all I time. I had to do it quick because often a lot of these people were pursued, were being chased. By whom? Parents. Who didn't oh, want no. them to marry. Yeah. There were all sorts of stories of like parents chasing after them and. But in World War Two, there were a lot of kind of uh, sudden marriages up here. Like, how cool and romantic would it be to run up it... here and? <laughs> what? Why not? Well, you didn't want to. We did talk about getting married in Vegas. Well, no, Vegas is a bit less. I know, it's like Vegas is okay as a fun wedding, but it hasn't got true love vibes, does it, Vegas? No, but we wanted to be married. We didn't want to go through the whole faff of a wedding because of expense. And we thought, well, if we're doing it, well, let's at least have a holiday out of it, we talked about. But then lots of family members started kind of going, no, yeah, but we want to come to the wedding. No, and so we ended up having our- family members there. Some of them. <laughs> Shall we get a padlock? Yeah, we've got to go in the shop. All right. I mean, well, there's a love maze here oh, as well. Love maze. A, a courtship maze or something that uh, simulates the act of, of becoming, sorry? A, becoming a couple, of courting. Um, okay. It simulates the act of becoming a couple. Yeah, you go into separate entrances. Right. And meet in the middle. Oh. I, yeah, Would I you like to do that? I'll give it a go. It doesn't look very okay. big. All right. Yeah. Wish yeah. us luck. Yeah. Get off now. This one's a bit sinister. It says, uh, it says here, 1982, blood before dishonour. What does that mean? Well, exactly. Darren and Rebecca. What does that mean? <laughs> blood, I don't know. 
I mean, we can do it if you want. They're just going to get taken away one day. I mean, some of these are really rusty. Just saying. Okay, well, we don't have to do it. Ben, then. Holly, Jessica and Callum. I think we should do... The ligamists. We should do one in honour of... Our friends. Our friends? What friends? One here that says Winnie and family. That's not really, that's not the point, is it? It's meant to be romantic love. That one's just all rubbed off. Look, that's rubbed off. Also, how many people on here have since split up? Let's be honest. That's not the attitude to have. So cynical. Here's one that just says Molly at both sides. See, that's, look, you can, I could just have that. Alan and April, April the 10th, 2023. Do you reckon he just fell in love with the month? <laughs> Maybe. Is one just for, look, Carl, K-A-R-L. Computerized access robot lover. Carl loves himself and himself only. Carl married himself. Carl has self-loving capabilities. There's one up here that says buttons and Cinderella. Wow. Mr. and Mrs. Sexton, <laughs> as they call themselves. Let's go in the stupid maze. Bit of the maze. So the maze symbolises two interlocking wedding rings. Just as well, I got mine. Yes, that was lucky, wasn't that was it? That was lucky, wasn't it? Yes. But uh, that's two for two because you lost your engagement ring. I d well, I didn't. I didn't lose it fully. It's under our decking somewhere. <laughs> right, so we go in separate entrances. State of my hair today, I've got to get a haircut. Look at that. Started out all right this morning. We spent time in the... Uh, what are you fiddling with? I'm talking. Oh, sorry, it had come undone. All, that fiddling is picking up on the mic. It had come undone. Oh, courtship maze. So we're going to go in the separate entrances. Would you like left or right? Uh, I'll do right. Okay, I'm gonna film you going in. All right. Right, off you go then. Wish me luck. Goodbye. Bye. I'm going in. I'm going in now. Oh, it's a proper maze. Mazes. There's a reason why they build roads in relatively straight lines. Go through this one. I'll get through here. <coughs> That's how you do it. I knew you'd take oh, ages. <laughs> this Paul. Just do what I did, just push through the fences. Just push through. What, what do you mean? So I did. You can't push through. I did. What? Just push my way through to the centre. It's much easier. Push I, through I the fence there to your left. The there, fence. there's a gap to your left. To your left. Oh, your other left. left. I can't fit through there. I got through it. I can't get through that. I did. I got through it. Push through. Help. That's it. You can do it. Well, let's go and meet our love. Don't come down. We have to meet each other. We're meant to kiss up here. Oh, I'm not going to do that on camera. Blow an air kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Let's blow kiss to our viewers. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> don't blow kisses to them. I don't know where they've been. Yeah, we don't like it when YouTubers do that, do we? Oh, when they like set the camera up and they then kiss, kiss and cuddle. Yeah, or when they pretend when they've been away. I don't mind it because it's like they're just expressing their Why love. You and that Why okay. are you doing it on camera? Because I get embarrassed. What? Just like a little peck. We did it at our wedding, probably. Did we? 
I don't really remember, to be honest. I was too busy crying. Yeah. yeah ruined you all my makeup. And you did loads I ruined of my makeup, like, within the first 30 seconds. You did loads of crying, didn't I you? I know, it's embarrassing. I, I wasn't as grey back then. I was quite handsome back in those days. <laughs> You're still handsome. Yeah, right. So anyway, there we are. We're in the middle of the courtship maze in Gretna Green. That's we bizarre. made it to the anvil. Sat on an anvil. G -g 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 anvil. <laughs> this is like, we could pretend that we're in a Bugs Bunny, no, Wile E. Coyote um, animation and drop an anvil from the top of this bridge. Okay. Isn't that what happened? Like anvil, they were always dropping anvils. On just, yeah, but we're sat on an anvil. What's, how can we protect? Have you got an anvil that we could drop? It's right here. You pick it up and drop it. Okay, off you go then. You pick that up. I'm not going to pick it up. Just a little video we've just tossed off um, for, for shits and giggles. Um, before we go into the the next bit, uh, why not subscribe? Cause, um, yeah, because the next bit's going to be really fun and you want to be subscribed for that. What, the museum? Yeah, I'm, I'm right, you actually putting pe you actually putting people off watching the rest of the video while I'm trying to... No, actually, no, I am looking forward to the next bit because we no, are... Okay, Nicole, we are you're in such a golem. We are in you're search such of a golem. This is, this is what it's like living with Sanya. This is the actual duality. You chose me. This is the duality of our marriage. Do you San understand Sanya the irony go... of, of sitting on the love no, no. bridge where yeah. people get married? Sanya will go, Sanya will go, God, I hate that person. And then, <laughs> and then literally in the next breath, she'll go, Oh, but they're so sweet. <laughs> it's like, you do that I don't multiple hate times anyone. every day. I don't hate. That's no, a there really is that, strong, there is that one person. That is a really strong. There is that word. one person. Who? <laughs> Just to see Who? what your no, reaction. Who hates a strong word? All right, but you, you know. I get frustrated with people. Do you ever? Mostly me. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yes, why not subscribe to us? That'd be nice. Like, comment, all of that. It helps us all that because fun you know, stuff. It, it, and you can support us on Patreon, which helps us do more trips like this. I mean, this is just a little bit of a video because we're in the middle we're, of a we're in the middle of a trip. bigger videos uh, two two bigger videos. Yes, uh, this is a little fun one. Yeah, a little detour. Detour. D for digitizer tour. D. De Big oh, detour. That's good, isn't it? Detours. The Oh, yo, you're here. You were here the moment that Paul discovered that. Watch me never use it because it's too bloody cheesy. <laughs> Detours. I've got to sort my hair out, Sanya. All right, Look let's go. I'm literally about to turn into an ice block. Are you? Mm. Right, let's go. Let's go. And we've got to push our way back through. Is that what they do? Is that how they do it? I don't know. Is that how they twerk? I don't know. Oh, I've got to get out of here. Oh, I want you to do it again. There's a woman over there. That's a way better way of doing it. A sinister. What is it? It's really sinister. What is it? Well, you have to see it. I can't explain it. It's a bit sad. We sat on this love bench by myself. I'm not watching telly if you want to come down. Huh? I'm not watching telly if you want to come down. So, if anyone's wondering what that reference to watching telly was, yesterday we were out for lunch with oh, no, our grandson. No, no. With our grandson. And um, Sonia was lamenting how much she was going to I'm gonna not going to film this bit. How much... You please, go on, it's funny. No, it's not funny. Because <laughs> you completely misunderstood so, it. I'm just going to ask people what they think. No! Um, <laughs> So, I'm, I'm going to stop recording. No, stop. No, don't. Because now I'm going to put this bit in. Everyone's going to wonder what it was. Then I'll just have to film it separately. And at least you get to have a, a make your defence here. So Sonia was uh, lamenting the fact the kids are all going to grow up and move out. And I said, you still got me. And Sonia very quietly went, but I don't just want to sit there watching TV all the time. I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> she no, looked really it, sad. 
and the core. That is not how, that's not how it went, first of all. We were talking about in the evenings and it's just, it's not, how, it's not what I meant. And that's not, it's not, anyway, that's, uh, oh. See? Creepy. Weird. Got some, got some junk in the trunk there. There's a lot of, even though this one's stylized, there are a lot of statues of nude people with well, couples. I'm just saying, is that a prerequisite of love to be nude? Because I'm quite ashamed of my body. <laughs> so I don't like you seeing it. <laughs> I run if I'm naked <laughs> you to run. dive under the covers as quickly as possible so you don't have to see see the mess <laughs> but this is sort of saying no be nude and i'm like you don't have be to be nude be free wear a smock this is saying be nude be free it's okay in the right situations which are when you're part of a loving couple what happens when they get nude Keep a t-shirt on all time, just to be on the safe side. Always keep a t-shirt on. And just keep pulling it down. <laughs> I think this would have been a nice place to get married. Yeah, it's really sweet. She's getting married. Yeah. Oh, she's going in, they're going it's, in. It's sweet and it's a romantic place to get married because this is like, it has been a central hub of love throughout the ages. Underage love. Well, it's not only, not only 12 year olds came here. To get married, lot, there were also did. there were also other people, <laughs> adults. Yeah, also I adults. Mean, adults. Yeah, and I think there's romance in the air, and it's like it's really. You feel there's romance in the air? Yeah. I actually think it's really quite pretty. I, it is pretty. Also, shops. They're the main thing. I did wonder about us going in the Gretna Green Experience. I think we've covered everything. So, for me. I'm just more interested in the fact that there's that Scottish food shop there. All right, let's go to the <laughs> Scottish to food shop. I just want to go in there. All right, let's do that. Scottish food shop, please. Nice, yum. So there we go. That was uh, that was um, the Gretna Green, the famous blacksmith shop. Shop? That's what it's called, yeah. Oh, that's right, yes. Y yes. I was shop. listening. I was listening. <laughs> I just didn't understand what shop was. What's a shop? <laughs> well, I've never heard this word before. What is this strange dialect you use? Shop. Right, let's go. Let's go get some food. Thanks for watching. Bye. I am going in. Okay.